Hey everybody, welcome to this episode of Life as a Dance. We got a really special installment for you today, don't we, Wendy? Yes, we are featuring our amazing staff today with some special questions. Yeah, they got two questions they're gonna ask one another. First one is, what is their favorite Christmas memory? And the second one is, how did they get into dancing? And what was that moment that made them think, this is gonna be it? I can't wait to hear their responses. Yeah, do you remember when that moment, when you knew dancing was gonna be it? I, I think so. I, I mean, dancing was always a big part of my life. I mean, I was blessed to have parents that danced all the time in the kitchen. My father was always grabbing my mom, so um, I got the bug pretty young. My mom put me in my first ballet class when I was really little because her parents weren't able to afford that when she was little, so mm. I did it for her and then, of course, fell in love and here I am. Yeah, family legacy is a really big thing. <laughs> Myself, too, my parents, I grew up watching my parents dance at Zababa's, so social dancing was a big part of their lives. Um, but my moment was when I got to see the movie White Nights. That was the moment I was like, I wanna be a professional dancer. It was ballet, but I got into ballroom later. Theater, that was a big thing for me. Theater. Theater. Check out our staff. We got four of them for you this time. Megan, Blakely, Jack, and Andrea. Hope you like it. So Megan, Christmas time's coming up, time for family, getting together. Uh, what has been your most favorite Christmas memory? I feel like my favorite Christmas memory was when I was about 15. I had just gone away on like a summer dance camp to Vermont and I was there for a few weeks and I met two of the most incredible people. They became my best friends. One of them lives in New York and one lives in Maine. Wow. And we didn't think that we'd ever really see each other again after we left from this dance camp. And I was like talking about them to my parents for months and months. And then Christmas came around and they actually surprised me by flying them out to spend the holidays with us in between like Christmas and New Year's. And it was like the most magical and memorable thing ever. And we made a tradition out of it now. So we try to get together at least once a year, no matter where we're at, we all fly and get together and it's that's, really nice. That's nice. Yeah. So you mentioned dance camp. Mm -hmm. So what, what got you into dancing? Um, well, I mean, I started dancing when I was three years old, so oh, it was wow. just kind of something that my mom had put me into. And then I would say when I like really fell in love with it, I was, I mean, I always kind of knew I loved it, but mm -hmm. this biggest moment for me was when I was about eight or nine, we went to Chicago. We drove down there for like this dance competition and convention. And it was like a Friday through Sunday. It was all day training of getting to take classes with like incredible artists in the industry. And then we would compete at night. And it was so amazing because it was like getting to dance all day long and learning all of these different styles and different like tips and tricks. And then also just like getting to perform on a stage for judges and like be getting critiques. And it was wow. the first time I kind of was like, oh wow, people actually like make a career out of this and like make a living out of it. And that was kind of when like this light flipped in my head that that was like something I could do with the rest of my life. So oh, that's awesome. Yeah. What would you say was your favorite Christmas memory? Oh, so let me think. I got two that I know of um, that kind of go off. Uh, one I have a picture of back at home, or my mom has a picture. Uh, it's five-year-old me coming down <laughs> the stairs with a giant Shrek stuffed animal in one hand and a giant gorilla with like boxing gloves and shorts. Um, and the picture is just me, like jaw dropped to the floor, just full of excitement. Uh, just by seeing all, all the stuff going on. Um, presents under the tree, mm -hmm. lights everywhere. Um, the other one has just been more recently just kind of being with family. Uh, very fortunate to have all my family, both mother and father's side, uh, within the same state not too far. So getting to spend time with all of them, distant cousins, stuff like that. It's right. been really fun. That's incredible. How did you get into dancing? Like what was your first introduction to it? So I never really danced as a kid. I played sports, whole variety of sports from racing bikes, soccer, track and field. Um, went, went into the Navy, uh, which is what brought me here. Um, going through workups, getting right. ready for a deployment during COVID. So we were never in port for more than two weeks. Um, then deployment was the next year, so I was telling my mom, I was like, I, I gotta do something. Uh, 
it's been two years of doing nothing. Right. Um, I, I, I need to find something to do. Uh, start scuba diving. One thing she mentioned um, was ballroom dancing. Hmm. Never really thought of it. Um, I knew I've always wanted to do like a masquerade ball or some sort of kind of yeah. big event. Yeah. And I kind of figured, I mean, there's probably going to be dance in there, so why, why not? Um, looked up dance studios before deployment, found Arthur Murray. And deployment came, crossed my mind a few times. Came back, went to a school, so I had time to do stuff. Right. And remembered, oh, the dance studio. Uh, looked it up, came to the studio, uh, and remember getting scared in the parking lot because uh, I've never done something like this before. Right. So I went to Target, <laughs> I backed out of it, uh, had to talk myself into coming back in. Uh, glad I did. Uh, had an amazing introduction, um, introductory lesson. Mm -hmm. uh, it was probably the longest weekend, four-day weekend um, I've ever had um, between lessons. The anticipation uh, of yeah, it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was coming in a lot, uh, just didn't know why I was happy, but it just made me uh, feel good. Mm -hmm. And uh, lucky enough, they were looking for instructors, so now i am made it a career. So I'm very, very excited for that. Uh, I've been enjoying it so far. Well, that's been enjoying it pretty much. Yeah, so. that's incredible. What a career switch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for sharing. Thank you. Oh, yeah, Blakely. Um, I was just thinking, I wanted to ask you, what is your most favorite Christmas memory? Favorite Christmas memory? Um, well, when I was younger, it was very redneck. <laughs> but, <laughs> but my aunt and my uncle used to take us out, and they would tie us to a uh, toboggan to the back of a horse, <laughs> and they'd drag us around the pasture oh on all the fresh snow. So, you know, on snow the snow? Days. Yeah, snow oh, days were pretty snow. fun. <laughs> but they didn't have snow back home. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what's your favorite Christmas memory? Um, I think I was like 12. Um, my mom was like flight attendant, so she always have to work for Christmas. Mm -hmm. But that year she didn't. So we went to her hometown. It's a very old village. It's called Ila Vasco in El Salvador. Um, and it's a very like humble family. So we all gather around, probably like, 20 people plus all the neighbors just go around and just play music um and we probably stayed up until like well our tradition mm -hmm. we open a Christ the gifts at 12 a.m we don't wait until the 25th in the morning so at 12 we all hug um say well we're grateful for and then we open the presents nice. um i know i can't <laughs> wait until 25th but um we stayed up until like five in the morning and we just decided to go to the beach and watch like the sunrise and we just like keep like playing music and celebrating. We bring all the food with us mm -hmm. and we just stay there for like, the entire day because it's always warm there. So you could go to every day to the beach. So there's no problem with that. <laughs> I know. That sounds so nice. <laughs> I know. I'm not a fan of the hot weather, but in Christmas, it could be, it could be really good. <laughs> okay. Next question. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> um, what, how do you, was it any moment or how you de decide or how, what moment makes you know that dancing was your passion? Or what made me go, something? yes. Dance. That's <laughs> the one. <laughs> well, I, I've been dancing all my life. Uh, I started out in theater. We had a little traveling thing called Camp Creamery. Um, but I guess, like, the real moment that I was like, okay, I need this in my life was when I saw my sister and my cousins. Um, I was probably about, like, nine at the time. I saw them up on stage doing their yearly recital. And I don't know what it was, but I grew, like, this this like obsession with it. I was like, I want, to do that. I want, yeah, I want to be able to move and I want the spotlights on me and I want to, I want to shimmer, but. I want to go blind for the lights. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it took a while though, cause, cause when, <laughs> when you start out as a little boy dancing, you don't get all the shiny shimmery <laughs> stuff like the girls do. So I was like, I want the accessories. <laughs> Where are those? But <laughs> I finally got mine. I got a little sparkle shirt that I get to yeah, wear and stuff. Nice. How about you? I think it was in high school. 
I was probably like seventh grade. I always loved to dance. I think like uh, that'll be in my family for a while. Um, but around like seventh grade, I was in basketball team, volleyball, and dancing. So I remember that all the trainings or rehearsals were like after school around like three. So there was a time that all of my schedules kind of like tied up together. So either I was skipping basketball or I was skipping dance or I have competitions or a game schedule. So my coach, um, he was like, all right, you need to decide. Um, either you stay to dancing or you stay to basketball. I was like, ooh. So it took me, for, it took me a while. It took me at least a month maybe to kind of like decide. I told them, okay, I need some time because I love both. I've been pretty active my whole life, so, but um, I had a really like conversation with my dance teacher um, and it made me realize that I was like, yeah, this is, this is what I want to do because I dance everywhere, not just in my rehearsals. So I think that's, that's when I started. I grew up on dancing and I, after I actually moved here, <laughs> my, my last day, was July 9th, 2017, 18, 17. And it was like my last performance on stage. And literally after that, I have to run to the airport because they actually moved the rehearsal, like the whole like musical stuff that we were doing. Because I, if not, I also wouldn't be there. So yeah, that was, that was like, yeah. important I need over to, here. <laughs> I need to be there. Uh, so they moved everything. So yeah, that's when I was like, this is, this is part of my life, so this is what I want to do. Nice. Yeah.